Hey, what's up, y'all? RJ here with CB Tech, and this video here um, is in the title you see below. Uh, there was a mistake in this video. Um, as some of y'all know, there is a phone called the ZTE symbol, which is, um, from what I hear, is the first Android flip phone uh, sold in the U.S. and it's available on track phone. Well, I purchased one at Walmart for um, T-Mobile, and it's just it's, the phone's right here. Uh, flip phone, thought it was Android and everything else. And come to find out, there are two ZTE symbols. One's a regular base flip phone, and one is an Android phone. And so I was all excited about unboxing it. I didn't even pay attention that this phone was not Android, so... Um, yeah, this is probably one of the uh, worst unboxing mistakes ever that I've ever done. And uh, I was kind of iffy about you know posting it to YouTube. But I thought, you know, what the heck? It's still a phone. Uh, and even at the beginning of it, I did say it's an Android and all that stuff. And, you know, and there is a ZTE symbol um, that is on track phone that is Android flip phone. However, this one right here is just a basic flip phone. Um, so anyway, I want to go ahead and make, make mention of that and uh, th th this video here um, is kind of like a blooper type video or a, in a mistake um, on my part, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it because it is actually a cell phone anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. <laughs> What is up y'all, RJ here with CB Tech and today I am unboxing, to the best of my knowledge, what is the first Android flip phone released in the US. That is the ZTE symbol Z-320. Looking at this phone here on the outside, there are some specs for GLTE compatible, a 2 megapixel main camera, Bluetooth 4.0, Spendable memory up to 32 gigabytes and a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor. So open this thing up here, and of course there is your device. Some plans over there, and uh, the back here is just what it comes with: the SIM card, battery, charger, USB, all that cool stuff. So let's go ahead here and try to tear into this very well glued box. So when I get this open here, I'll be right back. So, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. So, let's go ahead and pull this out. And we'll get rid of the box. Get that out of the way for the time being. And like I said, there is your phone on the back here. It just shows your manuals up like that. So, let's go ahead and just pop this thing off. Remove the phone out of the way here. And we'll put it to the side. We'll see what comes in the box. So you have, of course, your SIM card here, which is your standard size SIM card. Of course, you got some uh, return labels, T-Mobile activations, and terms and conditions. And of course, right here, which is in the bottom, is the ZTE uh, symbol. Uh, user manual as you see there so we're gonna leave this in there here is of course the battery which is nice to see a removable battery and this has a 1500 milliamp hour battery now there are two versions of this phone to the best of my knowledge uh, one is for track phone this one here is for T-Mobile and to, my, and to the best of my knowledge, the, team, the track phone version is a little bit better spec than this one here from what I have seen. But uh, we'll get into all that later on. So, of course, right here is your micro USB charging cable. And, of course, your wall adapter here. So, we'll just put this right back in here where it belongs. Put this back in here as well. Put it all neatly right back up in here. And we'll put this to the side. So look at the phone here. Um, kind of brings back, you know, how phones you know, looked 10, 10 years ago. Uh, with your volume rocker here on this side. 
on the bottom is your micro USB charging port on the right side is a headset jack I guess that's standard 3.5 millimeter on the back here is your rear speaker like a microphone there uh, on top I don't see anything and of course here is your camera your front display ZTE brand in here let's go ahead and open the flip and uh, I think on the um, track phone you have a 5 megapixel camera here as well as a 2 megapixel camera here so this one here is a cheap down version of the track phone model but as you see there is your keyboard your call back your navigation buttons here camera button it's just got that old retro feel from back in the day so go ahead and pull off the screen protector here and go ahead and shut it and we'll pull the back battery cover off without breaking it that's very well put on there so I'm going to put the SIM card in there and everything get that out of the way so when I get all that done I'll be right back so actually before putting the battery in here it actually is a micro SIM card it just has this um, right here this little cut out here to put in there here is your micro SD card slot and so we will just go ahead and put the battery in there and get that out of the way and there we go I'm sorry hit the tripod and we will put it back together this is gonna be kind of cool Let's see how this thing looks so we'll give it the first boot up Of course, you see there's ZTE Brandon on the screen. We'll see how the startup process is and everything. The screen don't look, you know, too awful bad. I'm not really sure of any of the specs really on this device. I have to, you know, do some research on that and go in here and search some things out before I can really, um, you know discuss in detail you know what all this phone does have on it um so yeah the keys down here do light up as you see there and of course it does say t-mobile right there don't look too good here in, on this camera here but the closer you can see it you know it does say t-mobile and of course the screen is not the greatest quality but what do you expect for a flip phone android so we got english here And I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up, and when I get it set up, I'll come back. Okay, y'all, so I have a confession to make. Um, they did make a ZTE symbol that was Android. Uh, however, this one here is the... Um, whatever model it is. And this one here is not Android. Um, that was so, so bad on my mistake. I should have known. Um, I mean, look at the screen. You can hardly see the thing until I bring it up close. But the screen don't look too bad, but it's nothing really to brag on. This is just your standard cell phone. I mean, it's it does have 4G LTE. You go into device here, so it's data usage, storage. And you get a you get four gigabytes of internal storage with a whopping seven hundred and thirty seven megabytes available <laughs> SD card there as well. Um, but you, I was looking for the Android um, version, and I was like, there is no Android version. And then I kept on looking, I'm like, wait a minute, there is nothing on here showing no Play Store, uh, nothing like that. So that was so much my my bad. This T-Mobile version here um, is not an Android device. So that was my mistake. Uh, however, there is a ZTE symbol for track phone that is um, running 5.1.1 Lollipop. And it is, uh, um, 
an Android device and it does have two cameras instead of one and um, so yeah I should have known I don't even know what I was even thinking um, this may not even go on YouTube I don't know because that's so bad on my part but uh, anyway this is the ZTE symbol uh, Z-320 um, it's old looking but it does have some features um that i will just take a brief demonstration of the camera here uh, that is only two megapixel and looking here um it don't look too awful bad um of course but nothing spectacular so yeah i am so sorry y'all that is my mistake um so anyway any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below hit that like button even though this was a terrible video uh and i sure would appreciate it subscribe if you hadn't already i really appreciate it y'all have a good one and we'll see y'all in the next video